Well, folks, we've officially entered a new era, and that era is the era of uh, reality is whatever the hell I want to call it, no matter what the facts or the figures are. I'm talking about an era now where you can basically say whatever the hell you want to say, irregardless of what the truth of the matter is. Forget about centuries of data and analysis on the outer universe. I mean, forget pictures and, and, and videos and <laughs> research and all that stuff. I can just say the world is flat because I want it to be flat. I'm watching the Joe Rogan podcast the other day and we got two pretty much prominent uh, scientists in, in the whole nutritional field. And basically they're all looking at the same information but they both come to drastically different conclusions. One is a vegan and, and one is a, is a, a pa- I guess I believe it was a paleo, paleo advocate. Now how is it possible that you guys can both be looking at the same information but just come to such drastically different conclusions. Not to mention not having a common thread among your opinions. It's, it's just true. Now we have a president of the United States that basically doesn't believe in the, the facts or the figures either, or reality itself. Just flat out makes stuff up and just lets it fly. And so, somehow, some, somehow the wheels just keep on turning on that. And then what's also fascinating is this how you you can just lie and just make things up and just distort and everything like that and you're hardly accountable for it these days it's just amazing it's just like you can just say whatever you want and it's just like, like the bar has just been set so low now i understand we are in a cultural change and things are happening and things are morphing into something new what it is i have no idea i still can't make any sense of what is going on but it i, I don't think this has happened before in history where you could just, we can all have the same information and the same data and even be looking at the same things. And then many of us are just coming to conclusions that are so different, there's not even a common thread. See, I understand that knowledge is provisional and, and reality is on the eye of the beholder. But at the end of the day, your perceptions are based on what you see and what you can interact with, what you can, what you can deduct, you know, what you can parse. Not based on your childish need to be right. It seems nowadays that discourse is no longer based on uh, anything substantial. It's just, I'm going to say whatever I want to say because I want to believe it because I want to believe it, regardless of what is the truth of the matter. The reason I want to chime in on this is because there's a lot of people in a lot of prominent positions now who are using this new method of reality is whatever the hell I want it to be. (laughs) kind of stats, you know? Scientists, politicians, um, uh, uh, celebrities, you name it, right? People who have prominent power in society and shape things. I've jumped on board to all this. Kind of. This, this, this new discourse, as somebody might call it. And I use discourse rather loosely. Now figure, ultimately, it's going to prove to be a disaster because you're shaving it against the grain. Reality is reality. Truth is what if truth is truth, right? If we're just going against that, what there's not gonna be there isn't gonna be a pot at the end of the rainbow when it comes to kind of that kind of thing. It's becoming a dangerous thing because we need proper information to make proper decisions. If we don't have the right facts and figures going forward, then we're just gonna be let off of a pretty much a cliff when it comes to so many aspects of our life. How am I supposed to know if I'm going to be making a healthy healthy choice if the information I have isn't healthy at all? Now, I know as human beings, we had a, we've had a strange relationship with his reality itself. You know, some, Someone once said, language is invented for the purpose of lying. I mean, I'm not that cynical, but you have to kind of see the essence of that message. I think when you get a little bit older, you start to be a really, really cynical because you've probably seen it all at that point or probably most of it at that point. And it's hard to believe anything you see or anyone because frankly, holy shit, we are full of shit. But the level of crap out there these days has just become unbearable and unbelievable. I I can't, I can't, I can't, I, 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 I can't, it's like nobody cares about the truth anymore or anything real. It's just like whoever has the, the best delivery or the most, you know, persuasive string of words wins the day, irregardless of whether it makes sense or not. But you know what, on another note, this might be a good thing. I think 
all of these things have a reason for them to happen. And I think there is a silver lining on this kind of thing. Because I think this kind of thing is going to force us to all at a certain point realize we have to think for ourselves. It doesn't matter who's talking to you or professing something to you. You just can't take everything for face value and just automatically because some, somehow this person who's talking to you is some sort of authority on the matter. You have to still parse it. Don't let anything get into your brain unless it passes your heart first, as someone might said. Because you're going to find that you know, the people that who, who, who profess to know things and be experts on things and are authorities on things are just human beings at the end of the day. They are subject to the same volatile things as you and I. The same biases. The same issues when it comes to prejudices and preferences. All that kind of stuff. So you can just never just sit there and just take anything that anyone says and just not think about it yourself. So I think this will be overall a good thing actually because it will start forcing us en masse to just take a step back from what's being sent to us and actually contemplate it ourselves which will start to make you become more intelligent because now you're starting to think for yourself. Who knows? We'll see how things go. But for me, that's how I take from all of this kind of thing because it's forcing me <laughs> to actually sit back and go, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, what? And I hope it does the same thing for you. Start thinking for yourself. Trust me, it's a lot better. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. More videos to come.